uh, gas station nightclub. What's that place called? The fire station. What? It's called like the call, like the death cauldron. Night station. Where's night- the fire in Rhode Island? Oh, oh, oh. station nightclub. Fire. Station nightclub. Yeah. What a nightmare. Yeah, he's he's coming to buy a Mercedes from us. Wow. He's like, let's get out of my way. I'm on fire. We got to Okay, we got to t- tell people. There's so in Rhode Island. There's a famous event which is the station nightclub fire. Yes. Where they had all the exits except for one. Where they chained up. Mm-hmm. You remember this? Okay, so they mm-hmm. had one. They had one exit. The place fills with smoke. You can find this. Look, look this up on YouTube. We got to look at this. The worst nightclub fire in American history. This is insane. This is an insane thing that happened. And how many people died? Was it 150? 300. <sighs> it was bad. It was like 260 or something. For, th- for 300 people to die at once in a fucking nightclub? Can you believe that? That's, that's fucking crazy. So this guy comes in to my dealership every other the Saturday. The owner. The owner of okay. the building who got off scot-free. So these two brothers leased it from this one Nick, owner. Nick, look at this with the pyrotechnics. Right. There. Imagine that. Imagine, imagine me like this. Yeah, you guys should do fireworks. Wow, man. But you, you know the shit we pull. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could do. Uh, you could do fireworks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. You guys have fun. Yo. I can smell the smoke from here. But it's just uh, Sam's cigar. How many people survived? Do we know? Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Are the bouncers keeping them in? <clears throat> oh, there's people trying to keep oh, them in. Oh, shit. Wow, we're looking at a lot of dead people right now. Imagine the reality of this. This is... This is uh... Oh, the humanity. So, well, well, that guy's out. Women, women do not help these situations with the fucking screaming. Snow. Man. This guy's not helping. It's like a snowplow of people. What in the fuck are they doing? Are they are they stuck in the doorway? Yeah, they were stuck in the doorway. They like pig piled. They're cr- they're cramming that double doorway with a pile of humans who are still conscious, but they can't Ugh. they can't get out. So the owner of the the club. Oh my god. That's it. This is the worst nightclub tragedy in American history right here, right in our home state. So, my friend owned a fire sprinkler company. Let's close out of this. Open up uh, lanky box videos and just play it on on mute. Go ahead. So, a friend of mine owned a fire sprinkler company who was an actual normal person, had the company beforehand. So, when I was 23, I was like fascinated on the blue collar jobs being acquired by you know, Fortune 100 companies. Mm-hmm. Because my friend <clears throat> owned a fire sprinkler company. I had a bachelor party, got, got totally drunk with the guy. He was like, hey, you're pretty smart. Why don't you come work with me? I'll give you 90000 a year. I came work for my buddy. This was, I, remember, I remember this story. Yeah, the guy. That, yeah, Rick Crowley. And then you, you took you actually took him up on the job. I did. Yeah. I was like, this, are you going to pay me ninety grand a year? All right, I'll take the job. Estimator, fire sprinkler estimator. Mm-hmm. He was, you know, And he admitted, like, why do you have so much business? He's like, dude, station nightclub fire. I'm putting fire sprinklers in every building over, I think it was 10,000 square feet. Oh, wow. Which is a lot of buildings. Mm -hmm. But they had to do it. Mm -hmm. You couldn't secure lending if you didn't have... Three of the fucking things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, fucking three. So this was like, this was the bonanza. This was the the, uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee of the fire sprinkler industry. And Ground Zero. Yeah. Ground Zero, Rhode Island Fire Sprinkler Company. Like, Mm -hmm. what a fucking come up. Right. So, if, so if you owned a small fire sprinkler company in Rhode Island at that time, you you hit the lottery. Mm-hmm. 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 So Tyco made him an offer of nine million bucks for his company. Wow! It was like three point three x on the EBITDA. Wow! At the time when things weren't going over EBITDA, mm-hmm. so now that's like thirty x over. Like Tesla's like whatever seventy or whatever. Mm-hmm. All these names they're giving stupid money. 
Stupid money. Yeah. Hey, piece of shit. Here's your meal ticket for life. Here's nine million. <laughs> yeah. Go away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go away now. Mm -hmm. Drink alcohol. Golf. <laughs> Did you like what I said? Go away now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what else. I mean, what? and then he didn't take it. He didn't take it? No, he didn't take it. And he hired me. And, like he, he didn't take it. Then he says, Nick, I think there's 30 million. And then he hired me. Mm -hmm. to make a maintenance end. He thought the maintenance end of maintaining the fire sprinklers mm -hmm. would equate to a bigger business, mm -hmm. which he was fair. That's a fair. And then he hired me to kind of like, I was a maintenance guy, so he kind of hired me to like, sign on these people to maintenance contracts and maintenance numbers. Mm -hmm. Based on, like, he already had the contract, the construction of putting, the, he's like, now, now they're going to pay us to maintain them. Mm -hmm. And I was like, hmm, it's a good idea. But it didn't work out. Now this company's worth two million. Okay, you know, or four million. It's funny, man. That's a wild. That's a wild story. That station nightclub fire footage is really shocking. That's, too. That's